So the moment analog pocket owners have been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, I've been pretty excited for this one. We now have a PC Engine CD core for the device. We can now play those games via micro SD card slot. I think that's awesome. So we're gonna run through that process. And I know a lot of you guys out there have been just getting your hands on one of these things. I've seen a lot of people, you know, posting pictures and whatnot, or asking about, hey, open FPGA. And I've done a bunch of videos in the past. And though today, we're focused on PC Engine CD. This is gonna get you set up with everything. All the cores are gonna be downloaded, your BIOSes, all the arcade games that are currently publicly available, and you're not gonna to have to download anything else. You could just play them right off the bat. That's gonna be awesome. This is gonna get you set up. So not just PC Engine CD, but everything. But I'm gonna run you through this process here, and I'm gonna make it easy for you. So I use the Pocket Updater Utility from Matt Panea. And I know there's other options out there. This is just the one I use and it's simple and I like it. So that's what we're doing today. Link down below. I'm gonna be using the Windows version because I'm on a Windows PC. So I'm gonna download the Pocket Updater win.zip. I'm gonna put it on my blank micro SD card. I have nothing on here right now, just to make it simple. Uh, like if you're just getting started, right? So I'm gonna save that. Uh, Chrome is saying, hey, this is, uh, you know, it could be dangerous, but it's not, it's not. It's on GitHub, I've downloaded this before, it's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna unzip this and um, put it in the, uh, the root here. So I'm just gonna extract here. It should be pocketupdater.exe, and that's all we need. We can get rid of the uh, zip full, uh, file, delete that, get out of here. So now we're gonna go ahead and run this, but first, I wanna point out, there. this uh, updater, it has been updated to set up things with PC Engine CD, so it's, it's gonna explain where to put your games and that they need to be bin and queue. Uh, so no CHD files, no ISO, just uh, bin and queue for PC Engine CD. So let's go ahead and run this. So, okay, here we go. And then we'll go through the process of how the, uh, the to get the game set up. I haven't done this yet. Would you like by default to install new cores? Sure, why not? Um, they've changed this. It used to be way more like just bam, you just start it and it does it, but now you have options. So I'm gonna just put zero, update all. This is gonna download everything. And this is a fresh micro SD card, so it's gonna download a lot of stuff. It's gonna look for the analog pocket official firmware as well, because you do need that if you never updated or you have an older firmware, you, you're gonna need that so you can have open FPGA. So as you see, it's downloading NES Core, PC Engine Core, Pokemon Mini, Super Nintendo. There may be multiple versions of some of these cores from different you know, authors of them, uh, and then some arcade stuff. So we're gonna let this run through and, and see what's up, Donkey Kong, why not? Lunar Lander. And once you, do, this the first time you run this is gonna be the most, like it's gonna take the most time. Anytime you run it again, it's gonna be super quick because every time you run it, it's just gonna check real quick. What cores do you have on that micro SD card? Are they old? Is there a new version? And then it's gonna replace it. And if it's something that doesn't need to be updated, it's gonna skip it. And then BIOS files, the arcade stuff, it's gonna skip it if you already have it. So like, okay, uh, Neo Geo, it just downloaded all the, uh, the Unibios and all that stuff, all the files I need. And then a second Neo Geo uh, core, there's a couple of them. And then there's the, uh, I just saw the PC Engine CD one run and that downloaded the Super System card. So we're good on that. So as you see, while this is running, it's adding new folders and files to the micro SD card. So we're getting completely set up here. So there we go, we did it, come again soon. So you would run this again, when, like you could check and see, is there anything new? And then just run this auto updater again and it's gonna download anything that's new. So there we go. We have everything ready to mess around with. We have our cores, all our different arcade cores, PC Engine, NES, Super Nintendo. We're ready to go. For a lot of these systems, you're gonna to have to add your ROMs. So with PC Engine CD, that's gonna be one of the biggest things and it's gonna be in assets and then you go to whatever system, like Game Gear, and then you go in the common, you put your your uh, ROMs in there. But we're looking for PC Engine CD, so it's PCE CD. Now, right here, this is gonna be almost empty, this uh, Mazamars 312. 
There's going to be almost nothing in there. Common, they put in there, it downloaded the Super uh, System card, version 3.0, so we're ready on that. This is where we're going to put all of our games. And then we're going to have to run this updater again. Let me show you. So, okay, I've added my games to the common folder that is inside the PCE CD folder, which is inside the assets folder. So each game needs to be in its own folder within the common folder. Does that make sense? And within them, you're going to have your bin and queue. So it should be, I think there's a limit of 27 bin files for it. Like if it goes over that, it won't work. So you may have to look around. You know, go to the Internet Archive, search for PC Engine CD, bin and queue. You'll find what you're looking for, right? But I think most of these games that I have on here should be fine. And I believe they're all bin and queue. But if you have like ISO or CHD, it's not going to work. We also have that super uh, system card down there. So I have this handful of games here. And now what we're going to do, because these will not run the way that they are. They need to have a, another file created. It's essentially like an executable almost. It's going to execute the game through the core. And it's going to go into that uh, Mazamar's folder there. But we need to go back to the beginning and then go ahead and run that pocket updater again. Because this pocket updater has been updated to run through this. I'm going to just do update all, hit enter. And as you see, it's going fast this time because we don't need anything. It's, it's downloaded pretty much everything I, I, you know, I don't need anything. Nothing's been updated between the five minutes that I've already done this, right? So real quick, but it's going to build those uh, JSON uh, files for those PC Engine CD games. So now they're going to be in here. We'll go back to that PC Engine CD. And the Mazamars 312. Now the uh, .JSON files are all in here for the games that I put in that common folder. So all these are going to be in here as .json files. So that's how we're going to run them. You have to do that step. Each time you add a new game, you're going to have to run through it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and I'm going to pop this out of my PC, put it into the pocket, and hope it works. I really do. I hope it works. Let's hope. It should. So we are now playing PC Engine CD on the analog pocket. Obviously, I have the dock. That's how I'm recording this footage. But let's go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to show you some things real quick. We'll go ahead and quit. So now that we're all set up, once you got your system powered on, you just go to Open FPGA. So we just downloaded all these different cores. If it's a console or a handheld, you will have to add your, your ROMs to that assets, the system, and the common, you know, into that common folder for that specific system. Um, but all your arcade stuff... Contra, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong. You can just play them. Dra Double Dragon, Galaga. But let's find that PC Engine CD. So as this just came out, I'm sure things will change over time. But at first I was a, I was a tiny bit confused. Just a tiny bit, but not, not really. So we select it and then we select Run. So now it took us directly to the JSON files that were created from the bin and cues that we put on the micro SD card. So we're in that Mazamars folder. So I'm just going to select, uh, you know, Rondo of Blood, right? So I hit A. Now it takes me to that common folder you could see up top. And I was like, wait, do I got to select the game again? What am I doing here, right? No, you got to go all the way down to where that super system card is and then select that and then it'll run your game. So I was like, wait, why doesn't it just auto run it? I don't, I don't know if they'll change that or if there's an option, but okay, we're jumping into the game now. Now, if we go into the analog menu, I, I want to double check uh, in core settings. So there's a few things here. Uh, you could load another game, I guess. Reset the core, use turbo tap, uh, use six button control. Then you got turbo options. The extra sprite or the raw RGB color. I think if you have that off, it's the composite color. Uh, audio boosting, system region, arcade system. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything that like auto boots that. So I, I don't know. I guess that's just the way you're supposed to do it. But so far, I've tested a handful of games and I haven't ran into any issues. So I'm sure somebody will probably find something though. But the good thing with this is that these things are constantly getting updated. It, fixes are being made, that kind of stuff. But so far, I haven't experienced any problems. I think this is awesome. I'm really glad that we have PC Engine CD now. So I hope this video helped. Appreciate you guys watching.
Bye.